out to the range today. As you can see, it's uh, it's not a very nice day, but you know, any day at the range is better than any day doing anything else, no matter what the weather is. So we're uh, we're heading out. I'm gonna head out a couple miles uh, north here. Got a couple three weapons with us. I'm gonna go planking them. All right. First time ever shooting out here before. Uh, we have a lot of nice ranges in our area. Uh, this one's a public one. It requires no, uh, you know, permit or anything. Just a Discover Pass, which I have because I hike everywhere around here with my dogs. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna do a little plinking. I brought a couple three guns. And all right, it's getting real wet now. Coming down pretty good. Range is nice though. Public range is kind of small, but you can get out to a couple hundred on the other side. It's all good. It's not bad for uh, a public range. All right, uh, I've been shooting the 22 and the 9, old school model 34 22 Remington and Breda 92F from Italy. Um, yeah, having some good times. Been a little while getting that Breda feel for it again. Running and gun. Nice. This is awesome. It's been moons since I've been out shooting, which is kind of a bummer, but you know what? We're uh, we're about ready to change that right now. It's right at the never been at this range before. It's public range. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. It's kind of small, but hey, I'm on the short side over here. It looks like you can get out to about. 200 over there on the other side, so But yeah, I brought the uh, the Breath Beretta 92 out This is one of the uh, Italian made ones I've Had this for years and years going on I believe I bought that back in the 90s, so it's 2024 that would be a 30 plus year old gun it's one of the uh, last of the Italian ones that were imported into the country before they started making them in the U.S. So, still has the Made in Italy marks. It's a good gun, good 9. Double stack. I uh, get 15 plus 1 out of it. And, uh, it's a good gun, good gun. I brought the old school 22. This is a, uh, jeez, I can't remember if this is an old Remington or an old Winchester. Oh yeah, old Remington. It's a Model 34. That that is an old school one. It's one that my dad uh, built the grip into out of some putty or some molding something. I'm not sure exactly what, but uh... oh yeah, nice. Good to go. All right, headphones on or headphones? <laughs> Ear pro on, and uh, first round's about ready to go down range. Oh, yeah, let's go big target on the right first. Boy, it's been a long time. sure the angle I got there so I'm feeling I'm hitting a little low And 
we're out and she holds back clear the old model 34 uh 22 she's old school super old school just open sights tube fed bolt action very accurate and fun to shoot and cheat Kneeling head shots. Okay, you want to be up? Did you get an Didn't look like it. Right, I think that was 11 shots into the head, fairly rapidly, not rapid, just at a quick pace. Let's see what we got. Oh, we put a few of them on the head. Yeah, all right. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all 11 right there. Nice. Yeah. You got the Knight's Armament, SR-15, MIDI. Uh, just can't say enough nice about it. It's a super nice AR. The only bad thing about it is it's too expensive. But uh, backup sights on it right now. Got the Knight's Rail. And then uh, I run it with the uh, ACOG standard issue. The uh, military four power ACOG. She's a beast, she works great. Got the LaRue mount, that thing's awesome. Return to zero, no worries. And there she is. Sweet rifle, sweet rifle. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Let's grab it and I'll show you here and it's like this.
For a public range, um, this has got a super nice bench set up for adjustable height seats that you just uh, swivel and uh, pull the pin. That's super nice. I don't have this nice of chairs up at the uh, place that you have to pay money to go to. <laughs> and they're, you know, they're kind of vandal proof too and just super heavy duty, stainless steel. Or not stainless, I mean just steel. But yeah. Yeah, and I think you can get out to. I don't think that's 300, but it's definitely at least 100, if not more. So, cool. Not a bad place at all. It's cool tucked up in this canyon. You got the mist fogging us in today. Basically an abandoned road that's dead end. So, nobody lives up here. That's just uh, an old abandoned house down that way. But, cool stuff. Yeah, it's a fun canyon. Pretty isolated, really, to get up here. In any houses after about 200 yards, 300 yards. And it's only a couple miles out of town, too, which is super nice. These cattle guards are ridiculous. They're not cattle guards, though, they're deer guards. All this fence is to keep deer from migrating down onto the highway. It's kind of a crazy thing, but whatever. Yeah, here we are. Back out above the dam, ready to head out.